A suspect is now out of the hospital and a Sioux Falls police officer will go on paid administrative leave after the officer shot the suspect early this morning. And tonight, Cuddle Land's Dan Santella takes a look at the latest officer involved shooting. Sioux Falls Police Chief John Toome says a suspect pointed a gun at someone who heard that suspect rooting through the victim's car and confronted him near the intersection of Waltz Avenue and Brookings Street in central Sioux Falls last night. Toome says the suspect fled that scene, but a few hours later, officers close to the intersection of Rice Street and Prairie Avenue nearby spotted someone matching the suspect's description and a foot chase soon followed. One of our officers encountered um, him in a backyard and in the course of that interaction um, the individual was armed and our officer fired their duty weapon thus making it an officer involved shooting. The officer is now on paid administrative leave. According to the state attorney general's office the shooting happened close to the intersection of Russell Street and Duluth Avenue. The suspect was struck, uh, was transported to the hospital Non-life-threatening injuries has already been released and turned over to the care of the Minnehaha County Jail. The suspect is 35-year-old Sean Kilborn of Sioux Falls, who as of Friday afternoon was in the Minnehaha County Jail on charges of theft, aggravated assault, burglary, possession of a firearm by a former drug offender, and a parole hold. Kelloland News asked the chief if the suspect pointed a weapon at law enforcement or drew a weapon, but he cited the DCI's work when declining to answer. So a weapon was located on scene. Again, I won't get into those details. Um, as with typical, and we kind of hit pause on what we do as an agency and turn it all over to DCI. So there's body cam footage, video footage, interviews that need to be done. So it's inappropriate for us to comment on anything beyond the kind of time, place, and what got us to that point. Toom stressed that this is not an outcome the department is hoping to see. At the end of the day, I reiterate, we do not want to have to be engaging people with our firearms. That's not something we seek or desire to do, but it's a result that happens sometimes. In Sioux Falls, Dan Centella, Kelloland News. Toom says it's the first officer-involved shooting of the year for Sioux Falls police.